Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Casali, Chief Medical Advisor for FAIR, and it's my privilege today to talk to you about the FAIR Clinical Network, which FAIR and the investigators that are part of it are very excited by because of the opportunities to promote research and innovations and hopefully find solutions for the food allergy epidemic. Why is this important? Well, when you think about it, we have 32 million Americans with food allergies. 85 million Americans are impacted by food allergies. That is that they have people in their families with food allergies. And of course, you know, as a parent, if you have a child with food allergy, that could be very stressful. One in 10 adults, one in 13 children. That's a lot of individuals with food allergy and only one FDA approved treatment, only one, Alforsia, for the treatment of peanut allergy. And that's why we created the FAIR Clinical Network to try and facilitate discovery of the biology of food allergy, new treatments, prevention, and diagnostics. So just to remind you about FAIR, we are the largest private funder of food allergy research, and we are engaged in trying to drive innovation toward a new, more promising day for the patients that we serve. We have a commitment to research and, and innovation, including making effective patient-centered approaches to prevention, diagnosis, and treatment a reality. We want to modernize food allergy diagnostics. We all know that oral food challenges right now are the gold standard, but they're very cumbersome and they're unsafe for a number of patients. We need to replace them. And we're hoping that molecular diagnostics that are coming more and more available for other areas can be translated to the diagnosis of food allergy. And of course, FAIR is also engaged in providing pediatricians, immunologists with the latest tools to provide to patients and parents about introducing common food allergens to children at high risk for food allergies. Now let me go into the FAIR Clinical Network specifically. The mission is to bring top institutions together to ensure that patients with food allergies have access to state-of-the-art diagnosis and treatment, short as well as long-term care, and research that addresses factors from discovery to application along the entire clinical and translational spectrum. We recognize that in this era of modern medicine and science, research is a team sport, if you would. We can't do it alone. There has to be collaboration. And what we're trying to do is to create a platform where a number of investigators in academic centers can get together to develop and disseminate best practices for the care of patients, serve as sites for clinical trials, and engage in cutting edge research to better understand the biology of food allergy and thereby generate and disseminate findings to advance the field of food allergy treatment and prevention. And of course, all of these sites are contributing to the FAIR patient registry and food allergy biorepositories, which I'll discuss later, that are important initiatives as part of the FAIR clinical network. So the FAIR clinical network consists of different pieces. We have 10 centers with 19 participating institutions that we are funding to conduct novel research on treatments, diagnostics, prevention, and improvements to care. These discovery centers are put together to try and form cohesive groups that can successfully compete for outside funding on big programs 
to really advance the biology and knowledge of food allergy. In addition, we have 20 designated centers in 42 total institutions that make up our clinical research centers, which are gold standard research sites that are quite capable and experienced in doing research for new therapeutics and diagnostics. And of course, all of the sites are considered clinical care centers. They're all 50 institutions, that is eight designated centers that are clinical care centers in the 42 other centers that can provide exceptional patient care. In addition, we recognize that we have to have a biobank and biomarker discovery center, which we're pleased to announce is at University of Cincinnati. This will serve as the central resource for biospecimens, biomarker discovery, and translational research. All of this will feed into a number of different databases, and that's where the Data Coordination Center will support the activities of the FAIR Clinical Network for compiling and analyzing these data, but also for the design, development, execution, and monitoring and analyses of investigator-initiated research. We know that as an integrated network, we could transform how research is conducted and improve collaboration. We also know that a coordinated system really accelerates the development of new therapies. Here's a map showing the 50 centers that are spread throughout the country. So they are in fact geographically representative of the United States, and we're very pleased that all of them have competitively applied for and been awarded this level of distinction. These centers of distinction are again, very experienced, respected, and both geographically and demographically representative of the United States. They care for more than 115,000 food allergy patients annually from infancy to adulthood. The majority of these sites see both pediatric and adult patients. They routinely do skin and blood testing for food allergy. And importantly for clinical trials, they conduct more than 13,500 oral food challenges annually. Many of them have both federal and industry funding to pursue cutting edge research. On this slide, I'm gonna show you what the organizational structure looks like. We have a steering committee and an executive committee that are made up of individuals from FAIR and the FAIR Clinical Network, uh, investigators, including representatives from the Data Coordination Center, the Clinical Care Centers, Discovery Centers, Clinical Research Centers, and the Biobank and Biomarker Discovery Center. In addition, there's many operating committees underneath all of these that we hope will engage all of the investigators to move the field faster. Now, if one is considering doing a clinical trial or an analysis of a biologic for the therapy of food allergy, conducting biomarker analysis, or just doing studies to develop a new diagnostic, which is extremely important for food allergy patients. We could help with that planning. We can give you access to multiple clinical sites. We have access to patient advisory boards. Indeed, these are the individuals that make up the advocacy group of FAIR. These sites, again, are experienced in food allergy research. They will have standard methodology and operating procedures, and we could facilitate budget and contract negotiation, 
regulatory assistance, and the use of a central IRB. Furthermore, we would be happy to help with site training and site initiation, all the steps necessary to plan a successful clinical research program. And then once you have that, of course, you have to execute that study. And this is where FAIR can help with assisted patient recruitment from the FAIR clinical network, but also from our data registry, which I'll cover in a minute. We can also help with site compliance, investigational product management, assisted study management, site monitoring, and safety reporting. FAIR is here for anyone that wants to execute a clinical trial or the trial of a new diagnostic for food allergy. And then finally, once the study is done, the FAIR Clinical Network Core Service Offerings includes help in data quality controls and in data management and statistical analyses through our data coordinating center, biospecimen management, and biomarker and mechanistic studies, not only at the University of Cincinnati, but at many of our sites, because they are indeed first-class research sites that are quite capable of doing novel biologic assays. In addition, we can help with manuscript and presentation assistance. Now, I mentioned the FAIR Data Coordination Center. We are in the process of evaluating several applications to award this, but it will be a critical piece to the FAIR Clinical Network to support activities for the design, development, execution, monitoring, and analyses of the translational research that we will be engaged in. In addition, they could assist with protocol development, a statistical analysis plan, and again, helping with training, data management, and support linking biologic samples to patients so that we can have bioinformatics support data analysis, final study reports, and again, presentations and manuscripts and final reports that are critical. Another piece of this, as I alluded to, was the FAIR Biobank and Biomarker Discovery Center, which is based at the University of Cincinnati under Dr. Amal Asad. This center will provide a range of biobanking and biomarker services to support multi-center investigations by serving as a central hub for biospecimens and biomarker and translational research. They could process the specimens, store them, do mechanistic studies, help with biomarker discovery and analysis, give bioinformatics support in collaboration with our data commons, and ultimately in collaboration with the Data Coordination Center, provide information on data analytics. Now I do wanna say a word about FAIR patient registry. Why? Well, it's because we all know when you're doing a clinical investigation program, the key to success is not only the execution of the study with precision and with standard operating procedures, but none of that matters unless you recruit the right patients and you fill your study. We have over 12,000 children and adult participants in our registry, and this is growing every day. We're able to bring the patient voice to food allergy researchers, accelerate the search for new treatments, and provide life-changing improvements in patient care through activities involved in the registry. Via online surveys, registry participants have been able to provide vital data and have answered critical questions about the burden of food allergy about the experiences of food allergy. And in fact, we are in the process 
of having four manuscripts written from data from the registry. And this registry can be very effective in enriching patient sampling by region to maximize representation of minority groups and help, again, recruit appropriate patients for clinical research. So again, we have about 12,000 patients, 43% adults, 57% children, ages from a few months all the way to 80 years of age, and 45% male, 55% female. Almost 80% were diagnosed during childhood and have more than one food allergy. We've identified over 200 plus food allergens that have affected people within the registry. Although the most common food allergens are, as you would expect, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, and milk. Interestingly, even though this group is very well educated and committed towards managing their food allergy, almost 50% have more than one reactions per year, and almost half of those were in their own home. But they are a highly engaged and active cohort that can be effectively used to uh, make a successful clinical research program. And then finally, I want to touch on the FAIR Data Commons, which brings all of these interactive tools together to help advance the field. The Data Commons is important because we know data is key to shortening steps in the drug discovery process. And that's what we're about. With only one approved therapy for food allergy, 32 million people affected in the United States, we have to do a better job. And what we're trying to do with the registry, what we're trying to do with the clinical network, the data comments, and all the pieces that I've spoken about is to provide a platform that makes it easy to develop therapies and new diagnostics. We want to have a centralized food allergy patient data platform that incorporates our registry, our fair clinical network information, our biorepository information, and partner data sources, including capture of electronic health records, which we think will be vital towards not only identifying patients for clinical trials, but to really understand the true epidemiology and burden of food allergy. And in that regard, we had a number of investigators as part of the FAIR Clinical Network to partner with us to develop a data dictionary for the definition of food allergy that we could feel comfortable with when we start data mining electronic health records. So this is the last data slide that I want to show you and sort of pulls together all of the patients. You can see that from the patient registry that we have, we're going to be able to input patient characteristics into the data common. But as we develop mechanisms to explore electronic health records, we'll be able to put in more patient data. In addition, we're going to have biologic samples linked to those patients in our biobank and biomarker discovery center. And of course, the FAIR clinical network will contribute to this. And this will be a valuable resource, uh, resource for researchers to use and analyze all data that are part of the data commons. So I'd like to thank you for your attention. And again, there's more information on our website, but this is an initiative that FAIR has committed a lot of resources towards developing because of the importance to FAIR and the patients we serve in developing better therapies. Thank you.